I'm Randy Headley up at New Ben Lippin in Columbia, South Carolina. I was looking at a flagpole and uh, let me just do a real quick panorama of uh, the Ben Lippin Main High School building and come back to the flagpole and look up to the top and come back to this tiny plaque says given by the class of 88 and uh, I started with that and will end with that in this very short video about the Ben Lippin Museum I'm walking over quickly to a set of old stones that Mr. Sir Savage and I and some Ben Lippin students collected from Ben Lippin Mountain and I wanted to get a little close-up of this granite lintel which says these stones from old Ben Lippin and the lettering was done by Mr. Phillips who had a daughter at Ben Lippin. Quickly I go into the main building because I want to go to the museum room uh, not only for the sake of the people who attended Ben Lippin on the Mountain, but even people in Columbia. I pause first on the way to the room and show you this glass case, which it says here, the class of 1981 donated this case. It holds the math team trophies, uh, almost all of which were won by Mr. Bob Hess who worked here many years, and also uh, Mr. Emery Nickerson. And I wanted to show you the one on top. And it says, a 1995 student at Christie Holtstrand helped to win this Tandy Excellence in Mathematics, Science, and Computer Science Award. Quickly now, I finally go toward the Ben Lippin Museum room, and uh, one of the first things I'm going to do is close the door and show you the outside of the door. This is room 105 at Ben Lippin in Columbia, and I focus here the old Ben Lippin Museum and the main logo on the door on 105. Two familiar faces, uh, Bonnie Hathaway, Sarah Woodring. Miss Sherry Long stays with Sarah when she visits Columbia. This is a logo from Ben Lippin. This is Jetty Niles, a cafeteria employee for many years at Ben Lippin in Columbia. She just retired recently, greatly beloved by many students. And I want to hold this sideways for a minute just to show you this Ben Lippin on the mountain uh, symbol that I have on the window. Opening the door quickly then closing and getting behind me, we have this um, picture frame, a collage put together by Mr. Weber and I want to pan over and show you there is one of the cases that holds the memorabilia. Let me come over here and look at a few things in this case quickly. This is just a very quick thumbnail sketch of what is going on. This case was given by the class of 1974 and it was brought here. I back up to give you a longer view. It was brought here to use for various things, and it has become one of the main cases for holding Ben Lippin memorabilia. This is a gift Mr. Lehman received from some Korean students. It is a turtle ship. These would be steel-plated ships from the 16th century. This would be Admiral Lee's ship. There is a peregrine falcon. I know you have a little glare on these glassy... Uh, Covers. I wanted to pan over and show you some things that were saved from the 50s, 60s, and 70s photos of athletic teams from the 50s, 60s, and 70s. There's This is kind of uh, uh, athletic trophies um, over the years. 
baseball, basketball, cross country soccer. There is a baseball from Mr. Teams, uh, Mr. Um, Young's winning baseball team. I'm going to open this quickly and show you uh, pictures from 1996, 1997, and 98 uh, when Dr. Edgren, a beloved headmaster of Ben Lippin, led students to Washington, D.C. on anti abortion marches and also locally. And here is a little memento from a Camp High Rocks Student Missionary Fellowship journey to the Redoubt that we call a retreat center for um, having Ben Lippin students be challenged with the idea to become missionaries, to support missionaries, and to understand the connection of uh, the missionary endeavor in relation to the Christian teaching. And I pan over the whole room for a moment and show you a Ben Lippin, old Ben Lippin sign over the world. So that's an old sign that hung up on Ben Lippin Mountain. The Canada flag means we just had uh, we had a um, an international week recently. I quickly come over to the old bell, which many remember that uh, Dr. McQuilkin purchased this old bell and they rang it up on the mountain on many occasions and we have it mounted on a platform now and it has uh, pneumatic tires and we use it for uh, super fans and for ringing in the school year and ringing out the school year and this is a lectern that uh, Billy Graham used at the Ben Lippin conferences in the open air chapel up on the mountain and so we have a little insignia here, uh, Ben Lippin, the Ben Lippin's Billy Graham lectern. And you can see the old Ben Lippin white sign here. And now this case, I'll back up a little bit. This case is the second major case that holds Ben Lippin memorabilia. And I'll only very quickly show I have a book that it's a Voltaire book signed by Nell Hardin. Her signature is in there. I've got the retirement letter of Jetty Niles. I've got, um, I've got some things in here from the SMF retreat by Mr. Sir Savage. And I've got uh, Diane Key's uh, book on 20th century views in English literature and critical essays. And this is a skirt that was worn up on the mountain, a kilt for the girls' hockey team. I got that from Sherry Long. Sherry Long gave me several things, I think including this Ben Lippin Boys School stamp. I've still got the ink and the stamp there for that. Here's some papers that are crispy from the Ben Lippin fire in 1980, which we're extremely sad about in our memories about that. And this is an actual Mr. Weber Ben Lippin Falcon license plate. Um, he gave me his old one when he put a new one up, and I keep it in the cabinet. And here is a Mr. Bob Hathaway, North Carolina Soccer Hall of Fame class of 2002 um, memento, uh, celebrating his 65 consecutive victories, a record that still stands as the most ever in the history of North Carolina prep soccer. And I'm going down quickly to old plates that uh, were used in the cafeteria up on the mountain, and way back there are pans that Bonnie Hathaway used to make coffee cake for Saturday morning up on the mountain. Here is a science oscilloscope from up on the mountain, <coughs> excuse me, a starter pistol from up on the mountain, an old Houston Memorial Laboratory plaque from up on the mountain, the clock that was used up on the mountain, and I get a close up on the anodes where they attach wires to run them all over the campus to make the bells ring by that clock, and notice it says right here, Ben Lippin Museum. I'm going to back up a little bit to get a larger view of the clock, the four or five pictures, the Billy Graham lectern, 
uh, the Ben Lippin over the world, and I'm going to finish up right here, like I said, uh, with uh, the flagpole, <laughs> flagpoles given by the last graduating class at the Asheville campus, class of 1988. This uh, became um, unattached somehow from the other flagpole, and I brought it into the room and keep it in my whiteboard tray. Here's what this means. We have not forgotten Ben Lippin up on the mountain or the students who have attended Ben Lippin over the years. I've named a lot of teachers and people from not only Columbia but from the older campus. Please come visit room 105 at Ben Lippin and see that we have not forgotten our heritage. Thank you.